JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, man killed, female shopkeeper injured by a gunman in Spanish town. A man was shot and killed, while a woman was injured in a gun attack in a section of Vickers Lane in Spanish town, St. Catherine, on Monday afternoon. The deceased has been identified as 28-year-old Paul Henry of McVickers Lane. According to reports, about 1 p.m., Henry was in the area when he was pounced upon by armed men who shot him several times. He allegedly succumbed to his injuries at the scene. A woman, who reportedly owns a shop located on McVickers Lane, was later found suffering from a gunshot wound she allegedly sustained during the incident. She was assisted to a hospital where she has been treated. The Spanish town police are probing the attack. Capleton escapes serious injuries in St. Thomas accident. Dancehall artist Capleton suffered minor injuries in a motor vehicle accident in St. Thomas this morning. The DJ's vehicle reportedly overturned while traveling in Landui about 5 a.m. He was alone in the vehicle. Capleton's manager, Claudette Kemp, confirmed the accident and said the entertainer is at home resting. The vehicle right off, but he's okay. He is recuperating at home, Kemp said. Capleton, given name Clifton Bailey, is known as the self-proclaimed King of Fire. He is also known for several hits including Jaja City, The Day Will Come and Good in Our Clothes. Was Moreland man gunned down in front of funeral home? A man was shot dead in front of Dorley's funeral home on Darling Street, West Moreland, while riding his bike to work early Monday morning. The deceased has been identified as 38-year-old Adrian Samuels, otherwise called Breda Dog, a groundsman who was employed with the Westmoreland Municipal Corporation. The deceased's sister, Delia Samuels, said that she was at work when she got the news about her brother's death. Work me day. Me can't even find the words to say, the distraught sister said. She said that one of her brothers heard several gunshots and said it had to be Samuels because he just rode off on his bicycle. He made the bullets and by the time he run come out, he seen pan the ground, pan the bicycle with pure blood, she revealed. The grieving woman said while well, she does not believe in revenge, she wants her brother's killer to suffer. We don't believe in revenge, but you say Father God I go take care of it. Suffer we want him to suffer. Every tears we cry for drop on the mother mother go suffer, she said fiercely. She was particularly concerned about her mother, who was travelling to Westmoreland from Portmore St. Catherine on her own. She describes the country's current crime situation as bad. Innocent people are dead. You don't know where to put your foot. My heart wouldn't feel safe for argument in did ask my stab him, she reasoned, as she held his bicycle and gently pushed it home. Was Morland Tyler charged with mechanic's death? A was Morland Tyler's been charged with the murder of 25-year-old Adam Smith, otherwise called Corey, a mechanic that was gunned down in his community of retreat, Little London, last month. The accused has been identified as 23-year-old Miranda Watkins, otherwise called Budbrain, of a Hudson Street, Savlamar, Westmoreland address. Watkins was positively identified by a witness during a video identification parade on August 3. According to the police report, on Friday, July 15 at 8.45 a.m., 25-year-old Smith was at his workshop on a motorcycle driven by Watkins along with a pillion drove up posing as customers. Watkins reportedly pretended as though the motorcycle had a defect to grab Smith's attention. Reports are that as Smith walked towards the men, the pillion brandished a gun and opened gunfire at him. He ran off, but the gunman gave chase. Smith collapsed after receiving several gunshot wounds to his face and upper body. He was subsequently transported to the Savlamar Public General Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Watkins was later apprehended during a police operation. Deaths of Free Hill 3 is still a mystery. The police are yet to determine if the deaths of three people in Free Hill, St. Anne, on July 18, should be classified as a triple murder or double murder and suicide. The bodies of Andrea Rattray, 46, her 13-year-old son, Michael Bonito, and her common-law husband, 50-year-old Lawrence Badal, were discovered at their home that Monday morning with chop wounds and their throat slashed. Rattray's other teenage son, who was asleep in another room of the building, made the discovery. The killings in the usually quiet community sent shockwaves across the parish and beyond. The police had launched an investigation to determine if the deaths stemmed from a dispute between the two adults, resulting in the man killing the others, then himself, or if a fourth person was responsible for killing all three. Three weeks later, there is still no answer to that question. We are still waiting on the findings, Senior Superintendent Dwight Powell, head of the St. Anne Police, said. Meanwhile, some residents have made up their minds that the incident was a triple murder. 
I've never seen a suicide person cut them own throat. They would have more likely hang themselves or drink some poison, one resident said on Monday. The resident accused the police of not doing enough investigation. The resident said persons have given the police information, including that a car was spotted parked on the road near the house about 1 o'clock that morning. Grave digging for the three began on Sunday, with the autopsies expected to be done by next week. Teen girl charged with murder for brother. A 16-year-old Clarendon girl has been charged with the murder of her brother, 23-year-old Leonardo Cole. The murder took place at their home on Azure Drive, Maypen, in Clarendon on August 5. The Maypen Criminal Investigations ran, say, about 9.30 a.m. The accused and her sister were having a dispute when Cole intervened. The dispute escalated, and the teenage girl used a knife to stab Cole in his upper body. He was transported to hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The accused was interviewed in the presence of her attorney on Monday, after which she was charged. Man killed by cops identified as Trigger Man in 2021 murder. A 35-year-old man who was killed in a police shootout in March was recently discovered to be the Trigger Man in a 2021 murder. Joel Foster, otherwise called Cheese, was positively identified as the man who shot and killed 27-year-old Makedo Thompson, otherwise called Pops, on March 25, 2021. Both men were from Canaanites in Clarendon. According to reports, about 8.30 p.m. on March 25, 2021, residents heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots and summoned the police. Upon the arrival, Thompson's body was seen lying face down along Dada Boy Avenue in the community, with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the head and back. The scene was processed, and the body was taken to the Maypen Hospital. Police said on Saturday, March 19, 2022, Foster was fatally shot after he engaged lawmen in a shootout on Francis Avenue in the Pacey housing scheme in Maypen, and Clarendon, a gun was retrieved in that incident. Police said a witness of Thompson's murder recently positively identified Foster as the killer. Licensed fire molder charge after threatening woman. 44-year-old Richard Hu, a customer service manager of Bogue Village, St. James, was charged with assault of common law, unlawful wounding, and illegal possession of a firearm after allegedly threatened to kill a woman in Ryan Park in the parish on Saturday, August 6. Reports from the Montego Bay Police were that about 4 p.m., the complainant and a woman got into an argument where both of them started throwing stones at each other, who, with a licensed fire molder, allegedly pushed the complainant to the ground, pointed his gun in her face, and threatened to kill her. The police were informed, and an investigation was launched. Who later turned himself into the police in the presence of his attorney? He was charged, following a question and answer interview. 28 new COVID-19 cases in Jamaica, no deaths reported. The Ministry of Health and Wellness reported 28 new COVID-19 cases on Monday, August 8, bringing the infection total to 147,344. The new cases comprise 17 females and 11 males, with ages ranging from 14 years to 87 years. The cases were recorded in Kingston and St. Andrew 17, St. James 6, St. Catherine 4 and St. Elizabeth 1. No deaths were reported for the period. There were 95 recoveries in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to 94,623. Currently, 121 people are hospitalized, 28 of whom are moderately ill, 5 severely ill, and 7 critically ill. Jamaica's positivity rate for the latest round of testing is 14%. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.